suffered, maybe for hours. That is part of the awful truth we learned today about the murder of Michelle Mockby. David Dooley is accused of killing her at her workplace in Florence. Nine on your side, anchor Julie O'Neill was in court today for his trial. And Julie, much of this testimony was really disturbing. Very hard to listen to and watch today, Carol. Uh, the medical examiner took the stand and gave his opinion of what was used to kill Michelle Mockby. So for the first time, we have a possible murder weapon. Dr. Gregory Wanger said a tape gun, one that would be used to dispense tape like uh, packages would be taped up in. It has services, uh, surfaces, he said, and edges that would be consistent with Mockby's injuries. Um, he said that the janitor, he did not speak about the janitor, David Dooley, uh, who was accused in this murder specifically, uh, but he just focused on the brutality of whoever killed Michelle Mockby, saying that the blunt force trauma that killed her was that that he would call consistent with a car crash. Um, very serious injuries uh, to her head and so forth. Again, with different types of injuries that that weapon uh, could have been used um, uh, to, to, to bring about uh, because it has softer edges and harder edges and so forth. Again, very difficult to listen to. Mockby, of course, a mother killed in May of 2012 at Thermo Fisher Scientific. Um, and nothing today from the prosecution that would link David Dooley to this murder, but just more of the graphic nature of how she was killed that early morning when she went in to that office place just to get payroll out early, and this horrific crime was perpetrated against her. Um, I will tell you that the judge said the jury would get out by 5 o'clock today. I'm going to go back in and make sure that that has happened. As I left a couple of minutes ago, they were in recess. Uh, we have not heard yet who will be taking the stand tomorrow, but I did see on the screen that a deputy was next to take the witness stand, and we'll have all the information for you on WCPO.com. Live in Boone County, I'm Julie O'Neill. We'll send it back to you. Okay, Julie, thanks so much.